when I got up today, it was like, yeah, Hey everybody, like welcome to, to this uh, shortwave back. radio and channel. Said anything and uh, all of them this really test good. will be done. This is the Battle of the Loop. Once again, Battle of the Loops. 6070 kilohertz CFRX Toronto, which has an interesting signal right now. And it has, of course, deep fades. But it's there, and we're going to test it out with the MLA-30 and W6LVP loops that are really worlds apart on price, but seem to be very close on performance. So the first is going to be with the W6LVP loop, and of course I will announce it when I change loops, uh, as I will comment, of course. So W6LVP loop on CFRX 6070 kilohertz. And now I'm going to put MLA 30 loop. And now let's go back to the W6 LVP loop. Thank you. 
left from behind by a vehicle about 2 o'clock in the morning Monday. And now we are going back to the MLA Dirty Loop. A dark colored SUV with front end damage. Police are saying this started out as random. From what we know to this point, they didn't know each other. But there was some sort of interaction between the boy and his friend in the small black SUV. Shortly after, a passenger uh, exited the vehicle and chased uh, the, two, the, the victim and his friend. And then at that point, the, um, the suspect, the driver of the suspect vehicle uh, obviously surpassed uh, all individuals and, and collided with our, with our victim. Police say they're hoping someone recognizes that vehicle and can help them out. Dave Bradley, News Talk 1010. And there is a lot of new information that's come to light this afternoon. The awful story out of Hamilton. The 14-year-old boy who was beaten and stabbed to death behind Sir Winston Churchill High School in downtown Hamilton works for right now. The number of suspects now facing first-degree murder is four. As News Talk 1010's James Moore reports, two more kids, and I say kids because that's what they are, just 16 years old, a boy and a girl, were arrested this afternoon. It follows the arrest of an 18 and 14 year old this morning. So what do you guys think? Um, comparing both loops once again, it was uh, interesting. W6LVP versus MLA30. So of course we ended with MLA30. And uh, it's kind of interesting to uh, test out and see the difference between both. I want your comments. Did you find anything interesting in here? Is one better than the other? All your comments are welcome, of course, and as we test out loops, W6LVP magnetic loop versus the MLA30 magnetic loop, and uh, it's kind of interesting to see the results, I'm sure, for everybody, and uh, hope you enjoy. So this was using 6070 kilohertz CFRX in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, received today, October 8th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed this series. And again, hope you enjoy the videos.